Welcome to the jungle! We've got fun and games! And animals, lots of them. We are going so deep into the Mayan jungle. As this sign says, you will get an authentic jungle experience. this rainbow turkey that greeted us or this adorable little troop of pizotes that live just out front of the inn with the tail of a lemur and the face of an anteater it's like darwin's grab bag but these little guys are actually relatives of the raccoon tikal inn has preserved ancient mayan art ambiance and cuisine in our retreat you'll have mayan dishes made from mango papaya fruits you've never even heard of or tried and even Ramon, which is what they made their flour from, because you can only get it all here. The bungalows and rooms in Tital Inn are prioritized to preserve and protect the jungle. So electricity is only available for a few hours in the morning, at noon, and then in the evening. But the lobby always has electricity if you need to charge a computer or a phone. And the lobby is also where you will get Wi-Fi signal. It is sufficient to stay in contact with work and get things done through email. I even did a live with my kids, but don't expect to stream anything intensive as the Wi-Fi is satellite based. There is no AC, so the pool is a must for everyone. There are plenty of open areas for play, grassy areas and areas that have been cleared from the jungle. Here you are completely unplugged, so you can sit, meditate, relax down by the cenote or spring and just let life all around you fill you up. Just remember your bug spray because you are in the jungle. The next morning we head into Tikal. The national park starts off down a long clear road and the jungle just comes in all around you. This is a La Ceba tree. They are ancient and amazing. Tikal Park is vast. Make sure you have great walking shoes because you are going to be walking for a good four plus hours. Tikal, which means the city of voices, has over 5,000 prehistoric buildings in an area of only 16 square kilometers. That's only about six square miles. Though the structures are all around you, you may not see them or recognize them because only 5% of them are cleaned off and there to be visited. This is the Great Jaguar or Temple One. We tried to get to the front of it, but took a wrong turn and ended up at the top of what we came to find out was the Acropolis or the north side of the Grand Plaza. We weren't sure where we are, but as you can do in Tikal, just climb your closest staircase, look out and get your bearings. And there you are. Another section of Tikal is the Lost World or Mundo Perdido. This is where we'll be having the sacred fire ceremony and cacao ceremony if you're coming to the retreat. You can participate or just watch. This is the sports field. This is game time. Welcome to your stadium. So the people would sit on the sides and they play in here, but you better not lose because the losers have to sacrifice a player to the gods. Just saying, it's a pretty important game. At the furthest end of the park is the temple number four, the temple of the two-headed serpent. It is the largest and tallest temple in all of Tikal. So, 
make sure you've done some Stairmaster before you come because there's over a hundred stairs that you have to climb to get all the way to the top. But once you get there, the view is so worth it. Travel here is amazing. To participate in an actual Mayan ceremony, a sacred fire ceremony, or cacao ceremony adds so much more to the actual experience so that you can actually be more of a person you came to be. Go to my website to find the next Mayan adventure.